Yes, sir. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Kodash. The bondage to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all the Akim, which is word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word in who calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name with the word in who calls Jesus and Rechak Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled birds, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst the other nations. Nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage to their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Branch out in Chicago. I'm the brother Tazawar. I'm the brother Yadaya. We're back at you another lesson, and um, we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're just going to play the lesson. We're going to play this uh, screen recording, and we're going to get right into it. It's going to be entitled, What the Spirit Saith Unto the Churches. Let's see. Let's see. The infamous, the infamous mark of the beast that. Now this is what the AI wrote, all right? Not him. This is what the AI wrote. He asked it. the question. Will be imposed upon humanity during the reign of the Antichrist. While the exact nature of this mark is not specified, it is, it is plausible that AI and related technologies may play a role in its implementation. For instance, biometric identification systems. They have that at uh, Amazon Press Stores with the palm reader. Biometric identification systems. Okay? Let me back it up just a little bit. It's a lot. Y'all let me stop. And related technologies may play a role in its implementation. For instance, biometric identification systems. Embedded microchips. Embedded microchips. All right. And then li listen to what else it says. Or even neural implants could be connected to AI systems for monitoring and control. Such as, ed do y'all just, I, I, I swear to you on everything that I love, I have not read this yet. It literally said biometric identification systems such as neuro implants do this technology in order to usher the mark of the beast. Yeah, that's it. Hey, can you grab Habakkuk? Uh, I would say Habakkuk 2 and can you hold Ezekiel 12? That's Habakkuk 2 and 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch and to see. What he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Mm -hmm. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Mm -hmm. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Mm -hmm. And hey, the prophecies is, is coming before they're coming to pass right before our face. And the men of the Lord. A hey, starting with our elders and our apostles, they've been prophesying about Revelation the thirteenth chapter, and it's happening right now. It's at the end. It should. Uh, it should speak. It. it said at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Now, the, now you know the elder brother. He he uh, went on, went across the AI video, and AI stands for artificial intelligence. And he asked it, or the video, and it was asked the guy that was in the video. He asked it, you know, what is it? And it said that this uh, these brain chips. <laughs> and these uh, implants is relating to Revelation at 13 chapter, the Mark of the Beast, which the elders and the apostles have been harping on, and the men that teach the likewise doctrine. You see, here it is. You got them telling you, "Oh, let's put this up in you so you can buy and sell. Put this in you so that you can, so that uh, a lame man can walk, so that the blind can see. Monkeys getting chips in their head and doing X, Y, Z, right? Then you got Elon Musk, which is con which is control opposition." You know he's the, the the savior to you to you peons. You know he's he's the good guy. He's he just he just this, but he's pushing the Neuralink, which is what a brain chip, man. You see, so hey, what's happening, man? Hey, hey, the prophecies are coming before, right before, right coming to pass, right before everyone's eyes, man. And and no one's gonna be without excuse because the Lord has risen up His men and gave that warning. Hey, they they blew that uh, horn. You see. 
this uh this Ezekiel 12. He didn't hit the point on that. Yep. Uh, it's like the second point. Where they reiterate like 20, what I mean. 22. Yeah. Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Saying, The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Mm -hmm. Tell them therefore, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But saying to them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. Mm -hmm. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. It, uh, 25. Yeah, that's the point. Mm -hmm. Verse 25. For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, mm -hmm. O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yep. So in, in, in your days, hey, they, the Lord is going to make his, his uh, arrival back on this planet. But before that, hey, these last prophecies are going to be unfolded, man. Rev uh, it's like in second chapter, the ninth chapter. It says, um, the end is manifest. The end is manifested. Effects and signs. With effects and signs. We're seeing those end time signs being made known. You see, can you grab Revelation 1 and 1? This is the book of Revelation 1 and 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Exactly. So John was given uh, revelations of things that was going to happen in the future. These things were going to happen before, uh, right before the Lord came back, right? It says, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. He reading a full Babakush. Who bear record to the word of the Mosai and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Mm -hmm. It said, Blessed is he that readeth. So you got to be in the scriptures and understand it. Well, read of goes into uh, understand. You see, because you got a lot of guys out here that's teaching against the prophecy of Revelation, the 13th chapter of Karagma, which a hey, evidently, which plainly is the R to the F to the I to the D. Mm -hmm. You see, a hey, hey, even AI knows it, man. Hey, even these uh, regular everyday Edomites, they know what it is, man. These uh, Bible Belt uh, uh, people out there in the Bible Belt and a lot of them is Jake. They know what it is, but here it is. You got men in Israel that teach otherwise. <laughs> you see, but they all signs point back to what that uh, what Revelation at thirteen chapter really is speaking about, which is that R to the F to the I to the D. See him. You see, you got some. Yeah, because all this other shit that these people are saying, it literally makes no sense, even on a normal standpoint. They send us sin. They send us the white woman. <laughs> You can't buy and sell the white word, but or sin, man. If it was sin, we all would be destroyed. Because you can't repent from that. Hey, these things are not adding up. And what? Do, hey, Esau ain't on, on their ass worried about what they're saying. He's on our elder apostles on down worried about what we're saying about this because he knows it's the truth. Even Esau knows it's the truth. But verse 4, it says, John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is... And which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. And to him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his blood and have made us kings and priests unto the most high and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Yeah, that was basically the point, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and I got that uh, that Malachi, mm -hmm. the CERN. Yep, this Malachi 3. Because if you don't know who or what it is, man, if you still playing simple, man, that's on you. Mm -hmm. the, the true prophets, a, a prophecy, a, to prophesy means to say before. You see? The prophet's been telling you what it is and how it was going to be laid out. And guess what? It's happening just as the prophet said, man. Hey, hey, the money is going digital. Hint, hint. You mm -hmm. see? Hey, you they're, they're finna start the CBDC, the central bank digital currency. Countries starting to convert their buying and selling into uh, digit, into numbers. 
And then you have uh, them talking about these uh, these C-hips, man. Then they got they, they wonder boy Elon Musk doing a different version of it for the brain chip. You see? This ain't coincidental, man. Hey, 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 hey. And the Apostle John, he saw this, man. He read it in, uh, uh, in Revelation 13th chapter, man. Uh -huh. You see? Oh, no, no. The Heavenly Father, you know, he just left this out of the story. Nah, man. <laughs> you, you see? Right. Hey, the hour of temptation is fastly approaching, man. You see? And hey, what? Slack, what'd you say? No, you, you got it. And, hey, hey, that hour of temptation is coming, man. And those jakes that are leaders of congregations that are not pr uh, uh, properly preparing their uh, congregation, hey, that blood's going to be on them, man. Because mm -hmm. here it is, the hour of temptation, the hour of testing is going to come. And, and you've been telling your congregation that you don't have to have faith, that you could trust the white man. Mm -hmm. That he's not the enemy. That the RFID isn't the M A R K O F B E A S T. You see, what are they gonna do when that's when they're presented with it, man? How about Shmuel Shai keep us? You know, but hey, what are those individuals gonna be doing, man? And hey, they have no excuse, man, because you have the true prophets telling you exactly what it is, man. Not 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 uh not shunning to declare to you the full gospel. Not uh, holding the truth, uh -huh. and, and uh, how's it written? Holding the truth and unrighteousness, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloak, you know. Hey, 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 giving it to you raw. Not, not, not charging you for the break nothing. Or the but tomato. getting it to you raw. Yep, that that or the tomato. Mm -hmm. Rightly dividing the word of truth, mm -hmm. directly and correctly. Hey, it says the watchman. Uh, it says give him no rest. He made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Who's that? Hey, for the work's sake, who's out here pushing, man? When, hey, not for no filthy lucre. Uh -huh. You see? You get that. This is Malachi 3 and 18. It says, Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between mm -hmm. him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. And the Lord is made, hey, he's, he's showing you exactly who who's really uh, worshiping him, uh -huh. who's really he's dealing with, and who he's not. Uh -huh. You see? You got the, hey, hey, start with the elders and apostles. Hey, they've been telling you exactly what it is, and hey, the whole world is catching on to what it is. But yet, it's men in Israel that that teach against it, or won't even tell you to not, 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 not to take it. Right. So the Lord is making it evident who He's really dealing with, man. And if anybody had any type of sense, <laughs> could see it, man. Uh, you know. Got it. I sit on that though, but I got the Isaiah fifty-two. This Isaiah fifty-two and uh, eight. It says, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice with the the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when Yahweh shall bring again Zion. And you have the righteous men doing what? Hey, the spirit is continually harping on this, on prophecy. What is that? That's the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai. The spirit of prophecy. When our Lord Yahweh Shai was on the scene, what? He was about fulfilling prophecy. Being about his father's business. And we being in the Lord's stead, starting off with our elder apostles on down, we have to do what? Let you people know what's to come. Mm -hmm. And that's <laughs> a major end time privacy. Is that MOTB. And yeah. we're letting you know what it is and, and, and what to do. Avoid it, not take it. Yeah, that's that. If you take that, that's your your seal for condemnation. You're gonna be destroyed. Mm -hmm. You're it, it ain't no repentance for that. You see? And you got guys in Israel that's pussyfooting around or, or, or not teaching it, man. Yep. Or teaching against it, man. But, hey, everybody else in the world knows exactly what it is. Here it is. You got the, the uh, I believe Carl Sanders was the guy. I did some research on him. You know, I got to touch it up. But he 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 was the one that created the, the C-Hip. And as time was going by, he started getting into the scriptures, basically. And he came to the revelation. He's like, I just made the, I just they made revelation be, the thirteenth yeah. chapter. He said that he became a Christian. He said some like some scientists or whatever, some government institutions. They hired him to make that tiny technology, and he did it. And over time, he started putting it together, and he realized that he made revelation the thirteenth chapter. Mm -hmm. You see. And what you have these people. Uh Ultimately deceived by these quote unquote miracles that come as the brother was talking about Elon Musty. He a uh, 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 lame man can walk. Hey, a blind man can see this, then the third. And all these people are going to come to Esau as if he's their God. And what does he say? Oh, I'm going to augment your body, which basically means to make it greater, make it better. 
So Esau Edom is trying to say that he can do things that the Most High cannot. And he's going to have you people go in. But what? You're going to lean on that broken reed. You're going to get pierced through. Yep. And hey, he's, hey, that man of sin is coming with those lying signs and wonders, man. Say he deceiveth them. Can you grab that in Revelation? It says he deceiveth them which dwell on our earth. Because here he is. He's telling you that, that he can uh, uh, cure all these things that the Heavenly Father uh, allotted his son to do. Hey, make the lame to uh, walk. Mm -hmm. Help the blind see. He's coming in that in that, ant, that left hand anti-Messiah spirit, man. Telling you that he can do these things through science. Which is BS, man, because true heaven comes from the Heavenly Father. But you can hit it. It's Revelation 13 and 14. And he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which did have the wound it's like which had the wound by a sword and did live mm -hmm. Keep and he had and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed mm -hmm. and he caused of all both small and great rich and poor Free and bond to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. That it's like, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the n name of the beast or the number of his name. Mm -hmm. And hey, that's what everything is leading to. Them putting all that information, that karagma, that incision, that engraving mark, you know, that cutting in the flesh, you know, uh, going into that karax, um, which is uh, like a pill or a steak, steak. the delivery yeah. system. You see? Mm -hmm. And you go into the root of that as grapho, which means to write, to scribe. Basically, information, Info records, man. Yep. You see? So, hey, put it together, man. Hey, hey, the scriptures is a living document, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And the scriptures, hey, hey no one's going to be without excuse because you had the prophets telling you exactly what it is, man. You can't say that you ain't know what it is. Yes, you did. Yep. Hey, you got niggas in the world that's talking about this. Yep. You got you got regular everyday niggas talking about this, man. You got uh, entertainers talking about this. You ate hey, Lil Duval last week, and that's how you know it's the spirit of the Lord, because every everything and everybody been speaking about it mm -hmm. amongst Israel and amongst just niggas in the world, and hey, even Esau. This nigga Lil Duval came out last week and said, "Hey, you gonna take that that C hip just like you said you wasn't gonna take that uh jet that yob." Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, if they give me some money to do it, he going to do it. And he said, uh, he also said, I'm going to get the third or fourth generation of it. I'm going to let the first batch of people die first. <laughs> Revelation, I believe it's 16 and 20. 16 uh, and chapter 20 as well. They go into the judgment on taking that sea hip. Yep. Hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. Hey, it talks about swords, but ultimately that lake of fire. You see, so hey, no one's without excuse, man. Hey, hey, the Spirit of the Lord is making it evident what the RFID microchip is according to biblical prophecy, which is the Karagma, Revelation the thirteenth chapter. Yep. So if you take it, hey, you're gonna be through. Mm -hmm. You see, that was all. You yeah. know so a little on this was a quick and edifying lesson called Halayim La. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. The bond to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. So I taste to all the Akim. Push the word to Sergei Bacheri. Shalom, Barakatam, Wa Baba Ball, Kwame Ashala, Shalom. Baba Ball, Kwame Ashala.